Today's video is brought to you by the good people over at PatriotPost.us. They are an excellent source of news information, op-eds, and all that good stuff. And a link for them will be in the description box. So when you head over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Nancy Pelosi finally handing over the articles of impeachment to the Senate. Now, this had been going on for quite a while as far as the impeachment process is concerned. Nancy Pelosi said, not me saying, she said that this whole process started way back with the whole Russia gate kerfuffle. That's what she said, although Facebook disagrees with that, but different story, so I digress. My whole point is that that's what she said. Now, as far as the official start of the impeachment process, it's been going on for quite a while as well. A month, two months, three months, whatever. Nancy Pelosi and the House Democrats wanted this whole thing to start quickly and end quickly to get the ball on the road. Oh, we got to get it done right now. This is very important. It's a matter of our democracy, this, that, and the third. That's what I was hearing from the Democrats. That's what I heard from Nancy Pelosi. But then after the House approved the articles of impeachment to send to the Senate, they just stayed right there in the House. They did not get transferred from the House to the Senate. All that it takes is a two-minute walk from Pelosi to go from the House chamber to the Senate chamber to hand over the articles. It's all that it takes. But it's taken a lot longer for that process to begin. And the reason Nancy Pelosi gave was, oh, we want to have a fair trial from the Senate Republicans. Things got to go right. Well, first of all, Nancy Pelosi, you're not in the Senate. You are the Speaker of the House. You were not Mitch McConnell. You are Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House. You're not in the Senate. So you can't dictate how things go in the Senate. Even if you were in the Senate, you can't dictate how things go. I'm sure Senate Democrats want to dictate things a certain way, but they can't because there are rules in the Senate. And beyond that, there is a Republican majority in the Senate. And in order for the impeachment process to ultimately be successful in the eyes of the Democrats and result in a conviction would be if you get a supermajority, two thirds Senate to vote for it. That means you got to have 20 Republicans that vote for this, although there were no Republicans, I think it might have been one guy, uh, Justin Nemash, who's retiring right now. You're not gonna have enough in the Senate to have it happen. And you've known this from the beginning. So the question is, because it's a couple of things here. First of all, why did you even start the process knowing that it was not gonna go anywhere? Second, why hold up the articles when you said that it was a matter of time, you gotta get it done right now? We got to be expedient as that in the third. Uh, a couple of things here. I think, first of all, that Nancy Pelosi didn't really want to do impeachment because remember earlier in the presidency, she was saying, well, we shouldn't really do it. It'd be a distraction as that in the third. But at the same time, she was kind of pushing for it. And I'll explain. She might not want to have impeachment actually happen, but she was pushing so hard against Trump and everything that he did it was kind of like the only thing that made sense in the eyes of some very powerful Democrats. When I say powerful, I'm talking about the squad, specifically the AOCs, Rashida Tlaib, Ayanna Presley, Ilhan Omar, also uh, Jaya Paul, she's a, she's a newest squad member, but that's a different story, and I digress. My point is that these far leftist Democrats have pushed Pelosi to a place where she didn't want to go, but at the same time, by her actions, was the only place that she could go, according to the far leftists. So she made her own bed. Now she's got to lie in it. The second question is this. Why did it take so long for her to say, OK, I hand over the articles right now? I mean, she didn't get anything she wanted and she had no leverage from the beginning. So why do it now? It could be a matter of trying to undermine some of the Democratic candidates. Possibly. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there because remember the impeachment process requires the Senate. You got to be there at your desk going through this process and you can't really be trying to run a campaign at the same time. Now you just had Cory Booker drop out. Is it a coincidence that right when Pelosi says, okay, we're going to go through with this. We're going to hand it over. We're going to start the trial right now that he drops out. Is it a coincidence? 
maybe, maybe not. I mean, he wasn't doing very well. He was not on the last debate stage. So it was only a matter of time before he dropped out. But the timing is very interesting. I think that he might go on this whole thing about um, Nancy Pelosi trying to interrupt his campaign and being racist because you're trying to get the people of color out and there's nobody of color on stage. He may go that route, but for now, I digress. He's dropped out. He would be in the Senate. He's in the Senate. He will have to be there for the impeachment process. You also have Bernie Sanders. This is kind of like history repeating this. So for remember in 2016, I did videos about this, how the DNC pretty much X'd Bernie out. There was all kinds of things. You're talking about this server with information on it that he was blocked out of. He couldn't do a lot of cold calls and whatnot to people that he was trying to get to vote for him uh, during the primary. It was all kind of stuff going on. A bunch of coin flips going for Hillary Clinton. It might've been like six in a row that all went for the same person. Very weird, but I digress. The whole point is that they were trying to get him out of the race back in 2016. Pocahontas, same thing, uh, very high polling person. Maybe the whole point here is to get all these Senate Democrats running for president out of the way so you can just pave the way for a Joe Biden. I mean, he seems to have the most support from the financial people and the Democrats know that. So maybe this whole thing is being used as an opportunity to give him a boost up. Maybe, just maybe, I don't really know, but I'm just saying that's kind of how it might look from the outside looking in. At the end of the day, as I close, Nancy Pelosi, I mean, this has got to be seen as a failure from her and she never had any leverage from the beginning. So there's got to be something else here. She has to, have, she must have known that she cannot pressure the Republicans in the Senate to do anything. I mean, she's trying to talk about, oh, we got to have witnesses, but at the same time, if we say, okay, let's call Joe Biden, let's call Hunter Biden, she'll say, no, we don't want to do that. So it's like, what are you even doing? You're trying to control the process from the outside. And that might've just kind of been a Hail Mary, a shot in the dark, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but obviously it didn't. So the second thing is, okay, let's just uh, sabotage our own people to try and get who we really want in the front running, which is a Joe Biden. And that's going to be a bad idea at the end of it because he has no chance. Imagine this guy on stage with Donald Trump trying to debate. This guy can barely handle regular normies in the crowd wherever he goes. And the crowds are small. 500 people at the max, maybe, probably less. 100 people, 200 people, 50 people in the coffee shop. You can't even handle them. How are you going to go on stage in front of the whole world and debate for like two hours with Donald Trump? just right in front of your face. How are you going to be able to do that? I don't think you'd be able to succeed in that particular uh, arena. And it'd be hilarious to see him get all the way to the election day and lose like worse than anybody has ever lost before. It'd definitely be worse than Hillary. Hillary Clinton was much stronger than than anyone is right now and she got stomped down when it came to the election so how will anyone else fare any differently or anywhere near as close to what hillary clinton did i can't tell but i think i'll leave it right there for now and what say you do you think that nancy pelosi held up the articles of impeachment because she was trying to sabotage some of the Senate Democrats that are running for president right now, if that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or was it because she was trying to get the Senate Republicans to adhere to her whim to say, okay, you got to run your trial this way. We want to have this person get on stage. We want to have that person. Is that in a third? Was that really the reason? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. I have a hard time believing that because there was never any leverage. What makes... You think, Pelosi, that you'd be able to dictate anything over there. What do you have that can be used as leverage? Nothing. I cannot wait for the whole process to begin. If we're going to have witnesses, let's have witnesses. Let's bring out Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Adam Schiff, uh, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page. Let's have everybody come forward that has something to talk about when it comes to impeachment, not just cherry-picked select few that the Democrats really want, that the mainstream media really want. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I gotta say for this video. 
If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.